Bendy and the Ink Machine. A game that I can't seem to remember the title of literally every time I turn it on. But it's kind of a cool game, so let it slide. We're going to be playing. We're going to be playing. I, I don't know how much longer I have in this game. I feel, I feel like this game can't be too much longer. You know, I, I can't imagine it's more than... All right, Joey. I'm a couple I'm hours in. Let's see if we can find what you wanted me to see. Chapter 4. Colossal Wonders. Alright, I gotta rescue my, my main squeeze, Boris. My main... My main man... My main man and main squeeze, Boris. Level S. Accounting and finance, archives and access. Here's the archives. Definitely something missing here. I hate. You know what? I'm not even gonna say what I hate because you already know. Let's continue. Door locked. Door stuck. Oh, it's not good. Time is money. Money is. I, I think it's saying time is money found my valve <laughs> I listened to all the audio tapes in chapter 4 all one of them all right uh, that doesn't sound good maybe, maybe that has to do with the, the the giant entity demon we've encountered a couple times God, this room is not great. He will set us free. Look at these, look at these Jojo Pillar Men Ink people. Mm. Okay. Poison. Don't drink of the poison. A lesson I had to learn. Wait a minute, there's another audio tape right here. They told me I was perfect for the role. Absolutely. Perfect. I wonder now if this Joey's is this going thing? around saying things behind closed doors. Hmm. I can always tell. Now he wants to meet again tomorrow. Says he has an opportunity for me. I'll hear him out. But if that smooth talker thinks he can double cross an angel and get away with it, look at that little. So that's how it works. Oh, he's got uh, another thing coming. I gotta find a million Alice? hidden books. Ooh, she doesn't like Books, books, books. Is this, is this going to be another situation where I find literally every book except one of the... Okay. My, the, the saturation just got a little crazy there. Um, is this going to be a situation where I find literally every single book except one of the books? It happens to just be on a table or something. I don't trust this game anymore. I'm gonna do a lap. This is this is for like normal book area. If I don't see it when I do my lap, I'm walking outside and I'm looking there. Doing a lap. Still you know what? I'm gonna continue doing my lap. And then I'm gonna turn around and explore outside. See there's always one. Always down to the last one that's annoying. All the inkmen are gone. They've disappeared. I don't know where they've gone off to. But it ain't good, whatever it is. Hmm. Alright, we've learned from before. Look at the ground. Look at at the ground this game aha this game likes putting things on the ground some games like i think god of war 2018 what i've been playing recently loves putting things up in the air this game likes putting things on the the ground two domains in which i do not cross usually in a first person shooter or a first person game rather i guess there's no real shooting going on except i guess you can shoot in this game technically i can get across here if i can find a way to fix this 
if I can find a way to fix this. I gotta repair the bridge. I have a feeling some more latent haunts will be waiting for me across this bridge. I guess that was the I guess that was the only thing. Oh yeah, I should put the uh the classic first time playthrough tag back on here. First time playthrough. First ever first ever stream. That's a that's a tag and a half, isn't it? Cannibal, that that's crazy. Your first ever stream. I remember my first stream. I remember my first stream on this channel. This like my first stream ever. I don't, I, I don't exactly remember what I played for the first time ever. Um, but on this channel, my first game I streamed was Earthbound, which I never beat. And you can't even find the VODs of that anyway. So one day, maybe I'll replay that game on stream. I'm missing a cog. I probably, you know what? I'm just gonna stick with my senses and go at, and commit to going backwards. Because I wasn't gonna do this at first, but I'm gonna commit to it. A gear is required. A gear is required for pog aggression. Okay, so the game is not letting me go back, which is good. Unlike some hello, ty hello type neighbor games, there is a sense of direction in this game. Okay, I need to find a cog. I need to find a cog champ, if you will. Hmm. Missing one. It has to be in here, I guess. Maybe in one of these lockers. Maybe perfect. Okay, I didn't. I didn't notice the vat. Vat of goo. It's not. It's ink. But uh, I don't have any way of defending myself. Okay, thank you for the blob. <laughs> Interesting. Can I wait? Can I use the blob of ink and turn that this into a gear? No, I'll just throw it in here rather. Ah, yes. Wait, no, I can. I should have. You know what? I should have done. Should have tried making some of the other stuff first. I don't know if it would have let me do that. So wait a minute. Does this does this ink, when combined with these weird machines, make like 3D print anything? I could see the value in that if that's the case. Let me get into this. The, the, all right, what what are the chances I'm getting across this gap without this falling? Like, it, it would actually be shocking if it doesn't fall. I think there is a 20% chance that I actually get across this bridge. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's still going. Is it actually going to let me cross? Okay, good. They subverted my expectations by not subverting my expectations. I'm actually I'm actually shocked. I mean, I think a lesser game may have dropped you down. Maybe something spooky will happen now, though, to, to compensate. Yeah, for the lack of spookiness. There we go. They call me the horror game whisperer. Because I happen to know what's about to happen next sometimes. See you there, oh, a my point. little errand boy. Your angel is always angel. watching. What is it that keeps you going? <laughs> I gotta is punch the out. Thrill of the hunt, the thirst for your freedom. No, I want my paycheck. You're or crazy, lady. You're just looking for a little friendly wolf. I am looking for my best bud, <laughs> Boris. Better hurry, errand boy. Boris is having trouble staying in one piece. 
Damn, I can't believe you do this. I can't believe... Ooh, beans. He always fights me. Oh, no. It's soup. It's not, it's not even beans. What's up, Ink? What's up, my Ink friends? Maybe I look like this, you know? See, they're not... Being, like, weird about it. Maybe, like, cause, again, we don't know. Maybe my, maybe I just look like one of these guys or something. Look at all these ink friends of mine. People said it's free, it's time to believe. What happened with this ink machine? Oh my god. I don't, I don't like this. <laughs> oh, hi buddies. I don't like, this is not, this is not a good environment for me to be in, yeah. Hi. Oh, you're the ink demon. I'm not gonna just wait here for you to murder me. That's almost the thing. It's like, this environment's almost too perfectly spooky. Like, the vent. The Among Us Sussy Baka vent. Is almost too perfect of a spooky location. For it to be all that spooky. I think if I was just walking around in a regular open area and something spooky happened or like an area I've already been to and I have no reason to go back I think that is more effective to me I think I get jump spooked a lot more effectively if, if, if I like went back to the spot like when I was stuck trying to solve a puzzle like an idiot for like an hour when I walked back to try to solve the puzzle and something crazy happened. I mean, that did actually happen in this game with the ink demon thing chasing me. But if something like completely crazy happened, um, I think that would be good. God. These vents though, like you're just stuck in here. Something's gonna, I don't, I don't think they're gonna let me off this easily. Okay, we're back, we're back out of the enclosed confinement of the uh, the stinky out zone the <clears throat> hmm come up and see me no i got to make sure there's no secrets here in storage number 9 okay there's not the sprint in this game is hilarious to me cuz i'm like walking this is walking this is sprinting it's so slightly different. It almost feels like, what's the point? I, I feel like, I mean, there was probably things that would break if you could go too fast in this game, but I feel like they should make you go a little faster. For 40 years, I've built attractions that stagger mm. the imagination. Colossal wonders such as the world has never seen. I have earned mm. my legacy with sweat. Right. Let's take a peek. While well, we're listening to Laura, let's take a peek at art. High-level investors, Wall Street tycoons. Man, this game looks the nice. Tactless Joey Drew introduces me. I feel like I'm gonna kind of miss the art style in the the newer game. As like Bertie. that new game looked really nice in terms of Child. realism, but me, this game but has a really nice style. We unlock the little Bigger storage room door over there. Almost there. Oh, God. I don't like the fact that there's a an Among Us hiding room. That kind of like makes me feel as though I will need to use that Among Us hiding room. Look at this bendy hell, bendy land. Look at this bendy land. Always on time. The stupid little lines he says. These guys down the warehouse get to play Molly games Franks. all day while I'm stuck cleaning up after him. They keep locking themselves at mm. their own back room. So I sent it to a little guy that said, You smart. Why guys. not rig up these games? Why not rig these games to knock open the door if you win? It'll be fun for you guys and a safe place. Alright, so the games control the door, I guess. Good to know, Fortnite. Hmm. This haunted house seems like the way to go, 
but it's gonna need some power. Hang in there, Boris. I'm coming. Can I use this, like... Can I do it? Oh, first try. I'm sure Boris doesn't mind waiting for his rescue party. <clears throat> I wish I could use that giant mallet. That giant comedy mallet. As a weapon. So Boris is getting bored as we speak. But I'm I'm hanging out playing some games. Okay, there's a cable here. Follow the cable. Very, very hello neighbor hello neighbor of you to have power cables hooked up to everything. Also, I think another effective spook could be turn one of these hidey holes into a, a scare itself. So you go into the hidey hole expecting it to be a hidey hole and it actually eats you. Have you drinked any of the ink when I was away? No, unfortunately I haven't had any ink to drink. Uh, but I did I did win the uh, the giant mallet swinging competition. And now I need to win the uh, shooting with my gun competition. Bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. They call me Sharpshooter Johnny. Because of my prowess- oh, because of my prowess with a gun, I missed one of them. I was- okay, that wasn't even my fault that time. Let me do this again. I was too braggadocious. Bam. Bam. No. Blap, blap, blap. Blap, blap. Blap, blap, blap. Blap, 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 blap. No, yes, blap. No, I'm out of ammo. I'm still winning, but I want to get them all. I, I got to do it for the for the fans. Okay, you're limited. I feel like I need to be less speedy and more accurate. I think my speed was not the issue. It was my accuracy. Alright. Bullseye. Perfect score. Rare achievement. The built different achievement. Oh, this is fun. Look at this physics. Do I only get three shots? Okay. I was gonna say these... Oh, they do reset. That first one shouldn't count. Let me do this again. Alright, I need to get three perfect throws. Alright. What? How come sometimes my character, like, wimply throws? I think the power is random. The power is random. I think. I don't think holding it does anything. I'm pretty sure the power is randomized. Like, okay, I threw it backwards. This is gonna be my biggest challenge yet. Is actually, like, winning this mode. When it's completely randomized, it seems. I have to just get three perfect throws in a row. <laughs> Come on. You're trying to, you're out here trying to tell me that that's, that's how I threw the ball. I wonder if there's any way of like... <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. It's not, I don't think it's randomized. Wait a minute. I'm a fool. Okay. It's, it's when you're at the lowest point. I, I understand now. It was like the hammer. That's honestly not that intuitive, to to be fair. It kind of doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but whatever. Oh my god. One remained. I will have the perfect throw. Okay. That was winnable. Winnable.
down the middle. Okay, unfortunate. This is this is harder than I don't know where to maybe the top right? I mean bottom left. Or top left rather. That was just bad. Where do I want to throw? In the middle? At warp speed? Then I can't it needs to be like maybe in like the like the middle middle. That just hit the top. Hmm. That's good. So that one, you hit it in like the middle. Like right here. It's gonna topple the whole thing. Oh. I've never been more focused in my life to win a minigame. Good. Interesting. <laughs> okay. I don't know how that other one... Is this the middle my hardest one? It's the furthest away, I think. That left... It's just that left one is cursed. I'm so close. I don't know. It's this if I if I hit it. Okay, that's done. This this mini game is something else. I gotta kind of like hit I don't know how I can hit every single one of them at once I guess like that maybe if I believe no Oh, I think that was actually still falling over. Oh, man. I didn't believe in myself. Yeah, there we go. We'll get it. Don't worry. This is deceptively very difficult. like I get some of them perfect okay <laughs> yeah maybe all right wait maybe the maybe there's like weird tech no let's just knock that one over it's like maybe I could do some craziness maybe the bottom Like maybe I need to change up my gameplay. Hmm. That's good. That's lame. How am I always like two? I'm like going between which ones have two left. Oh my god. There we go. There we go. I knocked them all over. I. Alright, I'll take that. I don't care. I don't know. I didn't get an achievement or anything. I, I bet there's like an achievement for knocking them all off the platforms, but I knocked them all over. I don't necessarily care to get Deal more than nine. that. That's cool. That's one. I'm sure nothing bad will happen with that that scenario going on over there. I better get overtime for this.
I better get overtime for this. Any other... Ooh, soup. Any other mini-games for me to squander my time with? I already, I actually won that one immediately, which I'm happy about. Okay, one power station. Activate. Okay, well, actually, let's 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 follow the 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 rope, the plug. Where does this lead me? What activate it by turning this on? What actually activate it? Did I activate the monstrosity that is this triple-headed thing? Probably. Oh, God. Oh no! Wait, that plug was just. Oh, okay. It's actually not what I think. How to find the plugs? is follow these this will lead me to them it was actually not what they were powering it's where they are that's good to know that one's actually inside of a room that i don't think i can get to huh maintenance room okay like all these doors are locked something must have opened One of these bad boys must have opened up. I think this this is the key one. Looks like I've got some company up ahead. Without some kind of weapon, I don't stand a chance. There's got to be a way around them. Is this a reusable bacon soup can? Oh. No. I'm limited. Uh, I'm just gonna... Don't, don't turn around. I'm just gonna hang out over here. Just don't, don't look over here. What's up, buddy? That's Antonio Inc Inciani. Turn this baby two. on. Listen to lore. Oh, that's a lot of lore. Oh. I think that was, I think I got screwed over by listening to lore. I think by listening to lore, all of the uh, ink monkey puppets decided to attack me. Didn't. Oh, here we go. A mechanical demon on the corner. Did that did my did the power stay on? Did that count? God, I wish I had some delicious ink to drink right around now. Vault, let me vault that can. Okay. Hey, buddies. Hey, pals. Why don't you walk over here, you ding guy? You multiple dinguses. If you turn around, you're cringe. Unbreakable. An unbreakable curse. So does this? All right, that count it. So I, I'm gonna just probably die again anyway. There's nothing in here for me. So what's kind of crazy? Maybe it's because I turned on that thing to listen to. It's like, how did they follow me? Maybe they saw me. Uh, you don't see me. You don't see anything. Here, can. Distraction. Go look at that. Yeah, you love- you love- you know you love delicious can. Okay, am I still stuck in here? Oh wow, there's a lot of cans. This one looks like it's full. Yum. Anything else? Oh, I just realized there's a giant mechanical arm floating in the sky. Well, I turned on the power. Is there anything else in here that I need to do? I don't think I could leave for some reason. Or maybe I can leave. Yum. Uh, I, I guess I can leave. Look at all these cans. Maybe I can't leave. Okay, I'm now I'm more confused as I eat all these. Oh, I can stack the amount of cans I have. That's cool. My can projectiles. I guess I didn't do the. F I didn't do the full 
thing that I needed to do down here. Maybe I need to go that way. Is that a different way? I <laughs> just smack him in the head. All right. Uh, time to get out of here. It looks like this is oh, okay. There's more power over here. Power to the players. Power to the players. Okay, you just gave me a shortcut. I'm not. I don't care about my my lives in this game. If maybe if I was playing a hardcore mode, there's probably an achievement for beating the game without dying. Maybe. But I do not care, because I've died many times already. For I don't really give a shoot. I'm wondering if that's why you can get the gun if you don't die, if you're trying to do a no deaths run, because you can actually get something that lets you not get killed as easy from the, that one segment. That one segment is kind of BS. Well, I just pissed him off as a joke. What if I pissed you off as a joke? Oh, I dropped all my soup cans. No soup allowed. Power up. Alright. The next level of power has been established. Let's find the next door that opened, I guess. There's... Could be one that opened over here, maybe. Because we did go... Remember we went over here and it was... In a wall or something? Ah, uh, yes. Attraction storage. It's where I store all my attraction. That's gonna be... What cool thing is gonna come to life here and ruin my day? Oh lord. Hmm. Special lord. Tongue seat. To We're gonna have to fight, like, then, the Dead Rising boss? Dead Rising 2 boss? Oh, Mr. You are the true architect behind so many nightmares. Why would they make those trash cans? I built this park. It was to be a masterpiece. My masterpiece. And now hmm. you think you can just throw me out? Trample me to the dust and forget me? No! This is my park! My okay. glory! You may think I'm wrong. I think I am gonna have to fight this robot. Oh, what's up, buddy? He lives inside the machine. Uh, huh. Might have to jam some gunk inside of him. Whoa. This is pretty cool. I also did not expect there to be, like, a boss fight in this game. I don't know if it's necessarily a boss fight or if it's more of a just survive not getting smashed. Oh, wait, look. Can I unscrew these? Um, interesting. I'm assuming that's what I need to do. There's nothing for me to throw, I don't think. Look at this. All right, now, now I must be able to unscrew this or something. Or a climb on it. Uh, I, I thought they're glowing like they're interactable, but maybe they're just glowing in the light. Ah, I see. This game's favorite trope of looking directly down. A thing that no one does when they're playing video games. Hiya! Hiya! I gotta say, boss fight, pretty neat. It's like looking down. It's like looking straight. It's so hard to get players to like look straight up. And I can't imagine it's much easier to look at them look straight down. I feel like they should have put the axe like just a little higher up or something. I, I, mean, I think maybe the problem is like it glows kind of, but like you really need to be looking out for it. Okay, come on, buddy. You have a lot of gears I still need to break. Like a comedically large amount of gears. Okay. Or maybe I only needed to break one arm off. Whoa. Let's break. Oh, okay. Let's avoid that. Let's 
try to bust this other arm off over here. Okay, he wants me to do this one. I think they, maybe the game is actually trying to get me to do them one at a time. In like a set order. Can't wait for our character to be like, I don't get paid enough to do this job. It's stinky. On the post save screen. This job is icky, stinky, pooey. Yucky. This job is yucky, inky, sticky, pooey. Smells bad, gross, icky, yucky. <laughs> I'm just getting clubbed in the face. Oh my god. I don't know what this guy expected, really, because I can kind of just stand still and avoid his wrath. Also, I mean, I, I don't know if you really can, but I would change up the strategy right about now. Okay. Well, he's making me look a little foolish, isn't he? I'm gonna go hide in the, the clown lick chair, the clown bidet over here. Oh, I didn't even realize he put an arm down over on the other side. Let me take a drink of water. Alright. Oh, it's on the other side again. Can I like... Oh, that's weird. I almost uh, made the game go funny a little bit there. Just uncork your other arm. All right, buddy, you got one arm left. What are you gonna... What could you possibly accomplish? The answer is nothing. Because you're done, buddy. I can't crouch. I already thought I unscrewed that other arm. Oh my god, the lag... The game is lagging. Can I jump around you? Okay, the answer is not no, but it's not yes. So the question of can I jump around this arm, there is some nuance to that answer, weirdly enough. I also don't want to die here. Watch out. Hey buddy, I really, at this moment, wish I could crouch. Yeah, honestly, I don't even care if you hit me. I just wanted to stay on this side. Uh, all right, you're done. Go home, you boss fight. You inexplicable boss fight in this walking around game. Oh my god, the frame rate on the stream is dying too. Hello. Everything is back to normal, it looks like. That was weird. Okay. Yeah, for some reason it looked like the framer was like blowing up on stream. I think everything is back to the way it was. I mean, that fight was cool and all, but where to power though? Where's where power? Uh, I don't know if I entered this room or the other room. Oh, here it is. Oh, gee, I ho sure hope nothing bad happens to me in this three. small closet. One to go. That makes three. One to go. I wonder if I should play Hollow Knight on stream. I've beaten that game like... Tw I, I beat that game uh, one and a half time. One and like three-fourths time. Because the first time I played the game, I got to the final boss fight. And I just wanted to like do side content, so I didn't do it. Um, and then I fully replayed the game and then beat it. And then try to do Godholm or whatever, like the that one DLC. I did the like the camp DLC thing, the the troop, Grimm's troop or whatever the hell. But uh, I did not. I could not do that. God's DLC or whatever. It was rough. Okay. Choo choo, goo goo, choo choo, chugga 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 choo choo train. We're about to get choo chooed. Yo, we got the Buddy Boris Railway. That sounds great. 
man. Shouts to Boris holding it down, being best boy. Oh, you're alive again? I murdered you. Buddy. I'm gonna hide. No, I'm not even gonna hide. Oh. Well, I'm dead either way. Can you pull me out of here? Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay. I was gonna say I was gonna hide in here, but I feel like he would have ripped me out of here. So, I, uh, I killed the other projectionist earlier, but I guess he's just his brother. So... Yeah, I guess it's just, he's just, a uh, his twin brother, the Erectionist. Wow, now why would he be called that, Matt? Because he's, it wouldn't, it's because it ends in ist, and, and middle is action. But he's called the Projectionist because he projects. Okay. Lift control. You don't have to tell me twice. Okay, he's pissed off. The projectionist knew that there was a lift control over here. I guess if you patrol like a two by two room your whole life, you kind of would know where things are. Fair enough. But at the same time, chill. I gotta listen to this. I'm, I'm not actually even listening to it, but I gotta click it just to satiate the urge to click. Remember, kids, press the power button. And turn off the power like an idiot. I want to stand here. Hey! I got a little photo. That's fun. I'm glad there was something there. I honestly thought I was going to get a little... I thought I was going to get a little jump scared there. But it was actually like a wholesome photo moment. My character, John Inc., uh, his, I think his name is Henry or something. My character, John Henry Inc., is just having a good time. Getting his picture taken, he's playing carnival games. Okay, not really thinking about the looming demise that stands behind me. I'm gonna go sit in here for a second. Ha! You can't get me! I'm in a closet! You fool. <laughs> he just got punched. They're fighting. That's pretty great. Damn, he really just said, know your place, buddy. Hi. Uh, don't look in here. Now we both killed the projectionist. I'm starting to feel like this ink fella right here ain't such, ha ain't half bad. Sorry, I'm looking at my Steam wish list for my my a uh, One Piece game that's on sale. What well, is on sale for not as much as I thought it was gonna be? When did this game come? Oh, this is the new one. It's like thirty-eight dollars. I don't know. Every anime game and One Piece game is like, I don't know. <laughs> Every time those games go on sale, it's like there's it's like it's probably worth like a couple bucks because they're like five bucks usually. But those games are all kind of like cash grabby weird. All right, we did it. Rescue Boris. Let us get our best friend Boris. Pick. Let's ride this. Let's ride on the uh, that one level from Cuphead. Ah, of course I need to go on the haunted house ride. Why is this kind of spooky? Like, actually having to ride on one of these dark rides is kind of spookier than just not doing it. Because I feel like it's going to be cheesy horror, but then actual spooks are going to happen. Oh boy! Is that the door to darkness? How so much can fall apart so fast. Oh god. The door to darkness. Henry is really just like, I don't know. What was Bendy. I just wanted to be beautiful. Boris. Oh, it's a little Boris doll. Surely you can understand that. Oh, okay, Henry. honk the doll. No. 
Why are you here? I don't know. To find out. I have to imagine that at the end of this game, there is a reveal where they pan out and I'm like some weird creature or something. Because like, who? Why? I've got a surprise. Oh, good. After all those fetch quests I did to you, you're still trying to murder me. Oh, God. 199 happy haunts live in this mansion. Look at this little haunted mansion. Ooh. Sans Undertale. And Eyeball Sally. Her eyeball fell onto a plate. Because I don't know why. Look at eyeball. Look at respawn location. That sounds bad. Eyeball Sally had a fall. And Melissa Dusa ate a squid. And a large man. Large Mandius. Oh, good. Oh, good. <gasps> of course. Oh, no. What has she done to you? Boris just became more epic. I don't. Is Boris still my buddy? Oh no. Meets the new and no. Forest. You're gonna make me take on my best friend. And in return, I gave him so much more. I guess we are here. We were here to rescue time, Boris. I guess. There's no escape. No escape. Boris, Let's Aha! 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 Ah, uh, yes, I see. Hmm. Well, if you see, if I grab some of this ink and put it in the ink machine, perhaps I'll be able to beat Boris's ass. Well, let's try it. Let's stick it in the old chute and hope for the best. Gimme, 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 yes. All right, Boris, it's time to get... Uh-oh. It's time to get b, -b, b bodied Okay, when Boris gets tired from being an idiot, now is, that is the time to strike. No! Ow. Now is the time. Hit him in the boreal... Gl the boreal gland. He really... Okay, my wrench is on the ground. Did he break my wrench, or is it just clipped into the floor? No, he, he did. I have to grab this world of goo goo. Ow. Actually, that was a speedrun tech to get me closer. Yo, you already know what time it is. It's pipe time! Oh, God. It's been a couple hours of stream. It has been a couple. It's been two hours. So, of course, we're doing... I like how harms... Oh my god. Harms is like announcing some sort of thing that we do. Oh my god. Baba Booey. Harms is now the big cheese for like the, what, fifth time in a row? I don't know. Channel points? I feel like channel points don't have that much of a. I'm an idiot. Six tier. I picked up the goo and I wanted to smack him with my pipe. Oh god. Harms is the sixth annual champion of channel points. I think, honestly, if there is any- I, I think if there is any channel point incentive in the future, um, you are now, like, freely eligible to redeem as much as you want. I don't know how I can make that happen, but if I ever have some sort of channel point incentive, I think you just have, like, unlimited channel point credit at this point. I, that is the thing. It's like channel points are cool. We're down to 50. Yeah, yeah, like we're down to 50. Channel points are cool and all, but like, if I have a hard time finding a way to implement them into a meaningful way. You could have sound alerts and stuff, which are cool. I don't know. There's certain things that are like novel when you're watching a stream live, but when you're watching a vod, it's kind of annoying. You know. Like when you get sound alerts. But sound alerts can be fun too. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff. 
Give me that wrench, boy. All right. I wasn't expecting so many boss fights. He already broke my wrench in like one go. Yahoo! Yahoo! Oh, gosh. My actually. Gosh. I'm legally distinct. Yuck. Ow. I'm gonna die if I get smacked again, which it looks like that may be very possible. Ow. Morris, chill. I can't strafe! But yeah, congratulations, Harm Harms, on the sixth annual Big Cheese tier shenanigans. Ow. Give me that goo. Does it, is this just me or does this not look like the most Roblox goo? It looks like something I would. Pl I'm playing like Goo Tycoon. Morty, I can't. Morty, I can't strafe the IRS from this distance, Morty. Okay, I may have gotten hit by a cart, but I dodged a cart somehow. I used the cart to dodge the cart while getting hit by a cart. Boris, Boris, please don't chuck a f cart at me. Can you chill? Ow. You wanna. Take a second to, um... Oh, no. Okay. How about now? Can I hit you now? Ow! Bor Come on, Boris. I'm trying... Cuphead. I'm trying... I'm trying to get my overtime hours, but now it's getting exceedingly difficult due to the fact that I am working in a factory such as this. Bye, Boris. Oh, no! Why can't you ever just die? Because I'm too base to die and too cringe to live. Oh god. I I am John Henry Inc. Oh. She kind of bad though. Not gonna lie. Yo! It's the real Boris! And the real other person. Yo! We got the event. We have the whole Avengers crew now. Punished Boris. Oh, we're popping off. Black screen. Okay. Um. <laughs> That that transition took a lot too long, not gonna lie. Ink Ink Venger I honestly was not expecting us to like assemble a crew. Bum 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 Who are you? I knew that song. That song Martha, that name. How do you know that Who name? Who are you? Why are you here? I was invited by an old friend. And now I can't leave. Then you know more than we do. Hmm. One minute, we don't even exist. Just... Thoughts. And the next minute... This place. So... Even some... Gonna let me out of here? ...of the people in the ink Down here, sphere, strangers aren't good things. Some of them are okay. How can mm -hmm. we trust you? We don't even know what you are. My name is Henry. I used to work here. I... I honestly don't know my hmm. name. So, they call me Alice. My name Dip. But I'm no angel. Wow. You go back and rest. We'll talk again later. It's like the characters from the cartoons are coming to life to it's save me. For a few hours, no need to worry. I won't go far. Gosh. Only up to level six. Just stay here. Keep an eye on Henry, okay? I'll be back as soon as I can. Now, is this the real Boris? Who was the Boris we just murdered? Okay, B dubs.
Uh, huh. Henry? Here, you must be hungry. Yo, my favorite! Sorry. Bacon soup! It's all we have. What? Boris, you son of a gun. Don't... You son of a... No, I think that was delicious bacon soup. And Boris, I made you soup and I tried to protect you. Unless I punished Boris and he's unrelated. It really is a Metal Gear Solid game. I know you're watching me. Huh? It's just a little creepy. Uh, no, I'm not. You're the one that writes on the walls. We all do. Calls you cringe and sign There's language. some poor souls down here. It's the only way they can be heard. But you don't want to touch the ink for too long. Hmm. It can claim you. Stop you staring at me. That's how I met Tom. Oh. I was messing Tom. with things I shouldn't have been, and he... He was there. Why do you call him Tom? He just seems to respond to it. Is that Boris? No, I don't Tom? think he's very fond of me. Or wait, maybe that's Tom. Boris is something. dead, and that's Tom who's different than Boris. A while Boris. back, I was mapping out one of the Although other Although that's Boris, it's a different Boris. I noticed Boris. something reflecting off a piece of glass. Hmm. I held up the glass, looked through, and on the wall behind me was a hidden message. Right there. I, in I have a sight. feeling there is some so very forbidden looking, art of this character. And found more and more messages everywhere in the studio. But you can't I have a feeling there's some very eyes. forbidden art of every character Only in this game. This. Take a look. What is this doohickey? I don't know who's leaving them. But I think they know how to get out of here. Where does it all lead to? Nowhere. Invisible ink. She actually dug up the halo a though. Long time. Just leads me in circles. I don't hmm. think I meant to leave this place, Henry. But maybe. Maybe you are. Huh. Alice. Please let, let me out of here. here. I Tom gotta eat a delicious snake. And what do you think? From the floor. I I think You're I think you're Edward. You're the hope I've been waiting for. Go to sleep. Maybe tomorrow will be better. Hmm. Hmm. I still can't believe he threw my really soup on the ground. Stupid Tom, you shouldn't have gone out there. Now that he's seen you, it's only a matter of time before he finds us here. He's got a robot arm. <laughs> I honestly was not expecting. Uh... Having friendly NPCs? We can't just leave him. Not with the ink demon right outside the door. Hmm. What's going on? He's coming. It's like we a real video game. Tom, we have to let him out. See, I think this separates uh This separates this game sorry. from like other like mascot kind of like <laughs> other mascot horror games and the fact that let me unplug my controller real quick and give, give you controller prompts which is not very helpful to my case lt left trigger so right click brings up the spectral graph i can't move while i have it up okay inside the vault oh my god spoon ink Take the spoon, you spoony bard. Aha. Maybe the... Look inside. You need this. The answer was in the oceanic toilet all along. Pipe. Also, your remark on artwork was right in the black and white bold styles. And, oh god, easily make her... 34. Oh god. Oh no. The ink color swap. Do you, do you think God stays in heaven? Because he too fears what he's created? I want to see this just as like, haha, fish. Eh. There's a choo choo train in the fish tank. 
my boy. Follow me. I'm gonna be doing this all day, aren't I? Just swapping. Don't die. Come with me, we'll go and see a place called Candied Island. A goobule! Get out, why I oughta. Oh, there's, a, there's an orb. Oh, man. I guess whenever I get stuck in a puzzle now, I can equip this to see. I think headshot's one shot. I'm not sure, though. Barrel? Why I oughta. Lines up my arm like spring behind me, punches baby as a joke. Goes to court for punching baby, pleads not guilty as a joke. Maybe I should have been in that. I feel like I should get in this. The machine. Well, garshed. I. Yeah? Is this something I should get into? Am I really supposed to just trudge my way through the... Uh, no. Can I release the hatch? Perhaps I need to go into the danger keep out room. Perhaps I am the danger. Oh god, is this like, is this like the Half-Life 1 chapter where we're like wading through the, the goo. Oh god. This is like, um, on a rail or whatever. From Half-Life. Alright, so we have to hold this to, like, go forward, I guess. Huh. I've been driving through the ink hole. All the live long day I found this pipe And it's made of ink and clay Probably just ink Wow Sounds like something stuck in the paddle wheel Sounds like something stuck in the paddle wheel See this is what you sound like Uh Probably keep going and not stand still here. There's some sort of creature that lives in the briny deeps of this ink. Oh. It's behind me. I died. I guess I was supposed to avoid that. I was supposed to press the, uh, the parry pipe button to parry it with my pipe. That does beg the question, what am I actually supposed to do there? I wonder if I was supposed to start moving? If it wasn't for lack of trying, I think I tried to start moving. Would you believe me if I told you this game was made in Notepad? Would you believe me if, if I told you the developer of this game was John Notepad, creator of Notepad? And, he, and they programmed the entire game in Notepad? Oh man, we really gotta... Really gotta take our time in this segment, I guess. Okay. Did that, did that just not spawn again? Fair enough. So I guess the deaths are canon. Because things happen and they maintain post-death. So I can just die and be read back in the ink. Which just leads credence to the- Oh, I, I didn't get the other ink blob, probably. Which just leads to my theory of I'm probably some weird ink creature as well. Because I can just keep coming back through the ink. And I, when I'm dead, I'm in that weird ink unconscious place, too. So who knows? Get rid of this delicious succulent ink. I've actually eaten squid ink pasta before. It really doesn't taste like anything. I would try it again. Um, 
Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of neat. Squid ink. Squink. Not as spoopy as initially thought. As long as I clear the gunk out of my rudder, we're good to go. Oh man, this flickering light is really nice on my eyes. A lot of these games have been having flickering issues. I wonder if it's some weird thing. I wonder if that's intended or if that's some glitchiness. Everyone wave bye to the giant, creepy, monstrous, monster, creepy, monster hand that's tailing us. Everyone say hi. Hi. Bye. I want to have time to appreciate and look at this funny monster hand, but... I'm just gonna die if I do, so... Look at this guy fishing. Look at that funny fella. Even living in a world of annoying squalor, he is hanging out. Not monsters. Wait a minute, those things I've been killing this whole time, maybe they're actually not so different, you and I. Oh. We're not so different, you and I. Wait a minute. You bring death. Oh wait, I'm- maybe I'm the bad guy. Once people now fall into despair, not monsters. Okay. I kind of forgot about my lore- my lore, uh, lens. My lens that allows me to see the real story. Hmm. Creator used us. What? It's locked. Hmm. Alright, time for us to tussle. So I'm... I, I'm dead, but um... I think the game literally said this uh, a few times in those lore nodes about like... The creators. So I'm. I'm a. I don't know if I'm supposed to know this, but like, if they explicitly really pointed it out, but I'm pretty sure I'm like, the 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 creator of all these characters and whatnot. Um. Although I don't know if that's explicitly stated or true. But we'll just assume that. No, you ink demon, son of a gun. I don't think this is actually I think this is the guy this is the guy from earlier who was looking down at us um in the projector booth. I don't think this is the, this is not the ink demon thing cuz the ink demon looks weird. This is just the guy with the mask. Who's about to get b b b b b bodied bodied by my bite. I'm just going to yeah, regen my health a bit. I got him. Get over here, buddy. Eh. Oh. I'm not allowed to murder. Oh. Never mind. You said I'd be free. Well, I'm going to free you now. Free your head right off. Yo. It's my, it's my guy, my, not Boris. It's time, for it's time to get yeeted. Bodied. We can't keep meeting like this. Oh no. Oh, he's wait. We're, we're befriending. I thought he was gonna smack me in the dome. <sighs> that was close. You're you shouldn't have trusted me. Uh, unlike Boris, I can't smack him across the tooth. Was that him? I don't think so. <laughs> Searchers and the Lost Ones built right this Right in the place. pigment. Sammy must have been keeping them at bay. 
now that he's gone. Looks okay. like we're in for a fight. Get ready. What? It is crazy that <laughs> not only has there been multiple boss fights, but now I have like a crew and we're all just beating the hell out of these ink creatures. This is this has become a lot more action-y. I'm dying horribly. Oh my god. I'm surprised I'm alive. My view window is like negligible. I'm shocked I didn't die there. Smack. Smack. Just doing a little bit of wiggling. Oh my god. Not Boris. It's like a beast. His robo arm. This game is really about family, and that's why it's so powerful. We can do this. Keep fighting. Also, yeah, way more combat than I thought. Like a surprising amount of combat. Okay, I'm gonna need you guys to help me take out this harem of Inkman. This guy has a hat. He's got a little, cute little funny hat. Oh my god, he's murdering me. Turns out his funny little prospector hat gives him the power of murder. Oh my god, there's so many of them. I think headshots are actually... A lot of combat for a game where you can't really stray for doing anything. Besides just like... Walk forward slowly. These are really are the Heartless from Kingdom Hearts. There, there is actually... There is some parallels. Have you never played this game before? What's up, Jake Gamer? I have not. I am uh, living my best ink life. What happened was yesterday I was going to stream the sequel to this game by accident because I thought the sequel was a remake of the game. And someone in the chat uh, told me that this is, this is actually a sequel and this is the original. So I, I popped it on. And now I'm going on my merry way. Bashing brains and taking names. Oh, God. There's... How many people? Maybe I could just leave, or, or am I really gonna? All right, I'm really just gonna keep fighting here. It feels as though I should probably try to find another solution at this point. I've smashed in about 77 craniums. Come on. And these guys even got their own little hats. Nice. I'm a bendy speedrunner. Nice. I wonder what the speed... Oh, God. I wonder what the... what's the speed run of this game like? Is there a lot of out-of-bounds? A lot of, like, uh... Is it just... Is it one of those games where it's just a lot of optimization? Or is it uh, a lot of, like, glitches and out-of-bounds and stuff? I would imagine... This game has jumping in it. And I would imagine there's a lot of weird issues where you can click probably in weird spots. You gotta, yeah, you gotta do the soup skip. I think that's all of them. But you never know where they're gonna crawl. See, this is uh this is actually un unknown tech right here. If you if you jump up here, the credits warp. Henry? Think you can lead the way? Henry Stickman, oh god. You can do glitches to get out of bounds. Yeah, I, I feel like I probably could actually get up here. Yeah. Henry is like, stop trying to do out of bound glitches. Um, I was playing, uh, Hello Neighbor the other day, too, and that game is a dumpster fire, and that game is, that game is probably a fun speedrun game, because you can, like, you could do so much stupid stuff in that game. I haven't had too many issues, okay, except for falling to my death every two seconds. Um, I haven't had too many issues in this game with, like, glitches, uh, but even when I was playing, like, Amnesia, I clipped into the ceiling in that game by accident and just skipped that entire water segment. I have a knack for finding stupid things to break game by accident. How- what's this- what's the time on the speedrun in this game? Like, what's- it- I feel like it's either gonna be one of those games that's like- like a 30 minute respectable run, or like a so glitchy it's like a 5 minute run. Like, for any percent. Yeah. Now that 
that's interesting. Now that's interesting. The film vault's full of delicious, scrumptious goop. It's full of delicious, scrummy goo. Oh my word, there's a lot of words here. I'm sorry, Laura. The world record is an hour and 18. Ah, okay. So it is one of those games where it's like... It's more about optimization and stuff, less about, uh... Less about the glitches. Could have gone either way. I'm enjoying it so far, though. It's pretty cool. It's definitely a lot different than I thought it would be. I didn't. I really had no expectations going into this game in terms of what I thought it was going to be. Punching in. Um, really had no idea. So the fact that it's... I mean, the fact that it's... Uh, okay, another dollar. The way it is. You can save and quit, save like three seconds. Oh, classic. I better stay out of sight. I better stay out of sight. Not these funny fellas. Monkey. Has it been Five Nighting or Freddy? I have not played any of those yet. That'll be a that'll be a stream day at one point. Definitely not up my alley, those games. I'm sorry, Lore, I'm gonna ignore you. I feel like for the sake of the stream, I can't just sit and listen to lore nodes. I know there is useful information in them. Crack. There is useful information in them. They do tell you how to do things. So if I get stuck, I can go back. But outside of that, I, I don't I don't know if I have I don't know if I have enough time for lore. I hear funny monkey. I think they give you those cracks just to look around the corners if you, to see if, if funny monkey is around the corner. Here's some lore. I'm sleepy and heading to bed. It's the harm's lore. Good night, harm. Thanks for stopping in. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, I'm screwed. Just kidding. I'm screwed. Well, I was talking about them. When I said I- okay, wait. When I said I was screwed, I was talking in the third person and about them, not me. They got jabated. Okay, never mind. I can't close the doors behind me, I don't think. Ow, I- I was the- I was actually the one who was screwed. I thought I could close the doors behind me to, like, kind of stop them from- doing anything, but I don't think I could or maybe I just missed it. Let me repatri repatriate and solve this Bioshock puzzle. So, I think this is just a giant maze over here and then all three pipes are going to be in here, I guess. All three pipes are somewhere in this gargantuan maze that I... I spent, like... Okay, I didn't even see that guy that time. Uh-oh. You have to get ink. Oh, okay, yeah, you have to get ink to then put it in the machine and then make pipes. Fair enough. Same difference. Let me hide the Among Us sanctuary real quick. Can't get me. I'm inside the Among Us closet. Yeah, no, I spent like two hours the other day trying to find... Like, when I was doing, like, the angel quest thing. Uh, trying to find the gear. Because they were all in the, in the doors. And then one of them, I guess, drops from an enemy. Or it was, like, on the ground. And I just never looked down. So I never found... It took me, like, so long to find it. It was, uh... It was rough. Oh, my God. He wasn't done looking at me. At least I'm safe inside the Among Us closet. Where I cease to exist in corpor corporeal form. I think I gotta wait here a little bit for him to, like, patrol onward so I can get out of here. Do you speedrun any other games or just, uh, this game? I've, I would try to get into speedrunning a little bit. I, I would watch, uh, a lot. Oh my god. Watch a lot of speedruns. Um... 
like I know games. So games, summer game is doing quick. Hello neighbor, yeah. Hello neighbor is. I was just playing it the other day. That game has to be a fun speed game because it's so stupid. Um, as someone who's never seen a Hello Neighbor speed run and who does not speed run the game, I did not. I've, I'm on like the third act or something, and I uh, completely skipped like everything in that game, but just by doing dumb stuff. Like, you can just, like, do a Half-Life style item jump thing with the magnet in that game. Or if you have, like, a metal item, you could just spam jump and fly. It's great. Um, and you can just build boxes to just jump out of bounds and do whatever and, like, clip through walls. The game is nonsense. As a game, I think it's, uh, like, not good, to be honest. But as a game to, like, mess around in, it's so fun. And I bet as a speed game, it's probably pretty fun. Although, some of the tricks may involve the, the physics, and the physics in that game seem very inconsistent. Ink. Lore. Alright, I got one ink. Okay. I don't- can I carry multiple ink? Can I carry multiple ink at once, or do I have to, like, go drop this off? Okay. No? Okay, I'm gonna go drop this off, I guess. Uh, nope. That was, that was a, just a prank. Also, if you die, you keep the ink. Fair enough. We could just die and, like, warp back. You guys shouldn't open these doors. Because when I need to go back, maybe I'll like... Alright, let me just die. There's like no point. There's no point for me to just find my way back. If I keep the ink. Come on. Let me come back to life, please. Thank you. Cool. So, here's one globule of ink. And I did... I think I did see the, the machine in here. Now the problem is, we have to go get more and more ink. We should probably look at what tubes we need, because I don't exactly remember. Okay, we need a T, a straight, and a curve. A T, a straight, and a curve. Okay, let's just get the straight one first, because I forget what kind of tea it was. All I know is the fastest time in Hello Neighbor is 12 seconds. Oh my god. And Hello Neighbor 2, uh, it's 12. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting spooked by, like, the game, but I'm, like, in shock. The fastest time on any Hello Neighbor game is 12 seconds on Hello Neighbor game, on Hello Neighbor 2 demo. Okay. It's the demo, so it's probably just one level, and you just clip out to, like, the end. Twelve seconds, though. That's crazy. That game is so wonky. Where'd my pipe go? Did I lose my pipe from hiding? No, it's just disappeared. Okay, I don't... whatever. So now I have the pipe. I gotta, do I have to go back to the exact same goo area? Because that's a little... I'm not gonna lie. Pat, a little, little padding of the game. Kind of weird but funny. Yeah, I agree. I'm just gonna just run. Um, yeah, it is, it is funny. It's fun to play uh, in Burst. I think if I was to try to play the game as it was intended and like actually solve the puzzles, I'd have a terrible time. Because there's, like, no direction, and it makes no sense. No, it's like there's, like, barely any sense of direction. Yeah, there, it, it makes- really doesn't make a whole lot of sense, and also it's stupid. Like, I try- I couldn't find that first key. But I played the first level, I just couldn't find the first key to open the door, but I got onto the roof and, like, skipped it. And, like, kind of solve some of the puzzles. And it was like, I was still giving it, like, my best effort to try to solve it. And then you get to something like you're at the next area. Like, the Act 3 is just a thousand puzzles to solve. It's like, who has... 
who cares? And then, like, the AI just comes out and stops. Like, the AI isn't doesn't add anything scary or spooky to the game. It just is annoying. It's just like, oh, you were doing something? Time to stop you from doing it for, like, two seconds. There is nothing... There's no real, like, add it... I... Suspense or anything. It's just kind of stinky. Yeah. I haven't got a hard time walking back to where I was before. If that's even what I need to do. I think it's probably what I need to do. See, even if I like run into these guys, they're not like a huge deal. Aha, I think this is Yes. Wow, you really you really do gotta like walk all the way over here three times. A little yeah. You want to check out my channel? I used to stream to be streaming running Band Aid. Now I play new games. Now, now I just play new games. Yeah, I'll give it. A sh I'll give it a, sh a check. Here, let me let me peep. I'll toss you a follow. Bendy runs. I'll have to check- I'll have to check him out post-beating this game. Okay. Curve and a, a T. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, because I can accidentally goof it up here, so I gotta be careful. So, what other kind of- Here's the T thing. Is there different types of the curve, or is it just- I think it's just one curve think elbow left elbow macaroni shape no it's supposed to go the other way it's supposed to go the other way I mean it wouldn't matter but I don't trust this thing I think there's only just one yeah there's only one okay. I like to keep my face off camera for now. Yeah, it's fair. I uh, I just do it because I'm like, at this point, I'm I'm used to it. I've been just out here on the grind, streaming, playing games. Although I take I take like long hiatuses a lot of times because I'm busy. What? Okay, my controls just gave out for a second there. I was a little confused. So, I think this game is really good. Uh, I do think moments like this are just kind of padding. Uh, I think a lot of those little, like side quests, too, were kind of, you know... I think there is some definite uh, padding going on in this game to kind of, you know, like... It, it, there's no real... I'm not really gaining anything from walking all the way here three times, you know what I mean? way more scary yeah i feel like they, i mean they probably got a lot of money and like budget from this game to like kind of make something more you know make something more substantial i mean this is like i believe this is probably more like a like kind of like a remastering of the original game um than when it first launched it's really good yeah I, i'm definitely i'm gonna check it out um this game is really good it is really good though especially considering like the I think the art, the world, and everything is pretty cool. Um, and again, going from a lot of itch.io, like, random horror games, there's a lot of elements that are similar in terms of, like, you know, there's some similarities in, like, layout. But this game actually, you know, feels like a game. Like, it feels really polished, and, like, there's a lot that went into it. A box. Looks like whatever was here was taken A box away. full of haunts. How did you get down here? It pays to carry a rope. You should try it. Yeah, Look, you guys should have helped me with that go, puzzle. But it's not going to be pleasant. The ink demon has something that we need. So I'm going after him. You want to go to his lair? Are the you ink crazy? demon's lair? That's death. That's where the trail seems to lead. <sighs> well, it's probably close by. Hmm. Probably through the ah. door, but it won't be easy to open. What say you, Wall? I'll the demon has taken it. A crowbar. Hmm, some kind of counterbalance. 
<laughs> you just punched it open. Oh, that works too. Oh, but this robot horn. Thank you. I keep forgetting Henry. No, I'm Henry. I keep forgetting not Boris's name. Steve or whatever. I keep forgetting his name. But he is really the MVP, saving me from collecting a thousand more things. Tom, thank you. Quiet. Don't make any noise. Don't make any noise. Death. Nope, still just death. It's showtime, boys. It's the titular ink machine, question mark, maybe. I don't know, actually. Wow. I've never I, seen it probably this is. It, I mean, it looks like a machine. Any way around. A ink Nothing machine. Build a raft with. Could be the ink machine. Cross. We can't. We're not like you, Henry. If we go in there, well, a drop of water in the ocean is rarely seen again. I know everything about this. to me. Well, and I don't even know what I'm Don't doing. worry, I'll make up I'm making up my own lore as we I go don't along. Even know why this is all happening to me. You'll have to inform me of like what a, what is actually happening half the time. A reason. Even when you can't understand it. It's time. Set us free. Okay. Um How do I do that? Enter the machine. Let's do it, boys. We're entering the ink machine. Me a weapon. I'm gonna kill him with my sardonic, sardonic remarks. It is crazy how little the sprinting in this game seems to actually really affect you. Hmm. Any secrets? Do a lore. I do a little quick lore sweep. We've entered the lair. You get to see Bendy. Bendy's more like it. Let's listen to this. It's simply awe-inspiring, but one can accomplish with their own hands. A lump of clay can turn to me. If you strangle it with enough enthusiasm, look what we built. We created life itself, Henry. Not just on a silver screen, but in the hearts of those we entertain with our fancy. Yeah, we probably shouldn't have done this. But when the tickets stopped selling, when the next big thing came along, only the monsters remained. Oh god. Shadows of the past. But you can save them, Henry. You can peel it all away. Instead of making like sentient creatures, maybe we should just like move to color in uh, animation. His beginning, but he's never seen the end. The end. The end. Uh-oh. So this is going to be a semi-stupid question. I don't know what Poppy's playtime is, but did that game, like, kind of take this character design? Because they both have crescent heads. And I literally, the only thing I know about that is seeing that character at, like, bootleg shops and a mall. But it kind of, kind of thick. All right, we're gonna figure this nonsense out. Really like, uh, really loading up the end of the game with a lot of boss fights. But I'm here for it. Let's... Oh, he's schmoovin'. Maybe I'll need to use my... I'm dead. I was gonna say, maybe I'll need to use my funny spyglass to, to sleuth my way around like a gumshoe. Then I ended up like a piece of gum on a proverbial shoe that got stepped on. Oh my god. It's a little fast. Arrow. Aha! I was right, kind of. Get out of the way. What did that do? Did, is that one of those things that just like closed a gate or something? I'm gonna have to like smack it on him. Let's wait for him to run over here. And now we have time. What, now what does this do? Oh, okay, we gotta find more of those. Aha! I think I'm gonna get smashed again real quick over here. Yep. 
Never mind, I dodged him like a the cool gamer I am. Am I safe? I was gonna say, am I safe in these little side areas? I think I was, but I think I just actually just walked into him and died. Hey, Jake Gamer, is there an achievement for beating this game without dying? Because it really feels like that's probably the case, right? I, I I was informed about there's a gun you can get if you take a certain path and don't die or something. But uh, yeah, I don't. It, it feels as though that that would make sense. Oh, I'm done. So we can go in these little side areas. Just because, like, the stakes for dying are not that bad. Like, it feels like I can die as much as I want, and I really am not going to face any real consequences. But, if you were to try to play this game and not die, then, you know, that's actually going to be a lot more intense. Trying to actually get through this without dying seems like it would be really pretty tough. Especially right now, because it's like, oh god. The likelihood of me getting murdered is relatively high. Especially walking down this hallway. Look at this. Massive hallway. I wonder if I uh, hit those switches and this unlocked the door over here or something. Oh, I guess so. Who was laughing now at the door to darkness? Thanks, Mickey. It's, hey, fellas, did someone mention the door to darkness? I love the door to darkness. They'll pay for this. Where the heck am I? Hmm. Maybe this is the door to darkness. Power, power, uh-oh. Uh all right, am I gonna have to... Oh God. Maybe if I stand, maybe if I stand near these ink, ink pillars, they'll run into the ink pillars and cause a, a, an issue. Where they, oh my goodness. Go by the pipes, yeah. Seemed, that made sense. If you go by the pipes, then he'll break them. And then, uh, cause an ink catastrophe, I'm gonna get my tooth, get my, get my clock cleaned. Alright. Well, shoot. I really can't see, oh my god. He's gone. Perhaps he got re-absorbed by the pipe energy. Back here to the throne. We take a minute to sit on my gamer throne. Uh, I hear galloping and there's a hole in the wall. Okay, there we go. Put the end in. Do, do I not have the end? I thought I picked it up. Okay. I don't go through here. I thought I was given the tape to put in here. Oh, I was. It was just I was missing the button. Oh. Man, really should, uh, not... He skipped leg day every day. The end. Absolutely bodied. Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> you tried. But you can't keep a good man named Henry down. You can't keep... Oh. It was all a dream. Huh. Egg? Oh no, my life is just boring. Hmm. Henry. Henry. So soon. I didn't expect you for another hour yet. Now you're just trying to impress me. 
But I know, I know. Hmm. You have questions. Look at that big calendar. You always do. The only important question is this. How do you like your eggs, who buddy? Who are we, Henry? I thought I knew who I was. But the success starved me. Nothing left but lines on a page. Posture check is probably a good In the idea. end, we followed two different roads of our own making. You, a lovely family. Me. Me. A crooked empire. Me, the most successful my Twitch stream burned. on the internet. I let our creations become my life. The truth is, you were always so good at pushing, old friend. Pushing me to do the right thing. He's weirdly you scary looking based on how the humans harder. look in this game. Henry, come visit the old workshop. There's something I need to show you. Huh. All right, Joey. I'm here. Let's see if we can find what you wanted me to see. Does the game just loop? What? All right, Jake the Gamer, you got some answer. You got some questions to answer about the lore. Because I didn't read any, I mean, I, I listened to some of the audio notes, I got somewhat of a gist. But, um... So I went to the guys, is, am I trapped in an internal loop? I mean, I, also, there could be answers in the second game, too. So those were the two voice, there was two voice actors for the one character, one of them was like cool, the other one got jealous. There was two Boris type creatures. Uh, there is not really. Okay, yeah, I mean, like. Joey Drew. So, oh boy! My, f my favorite character, the cutouts. Oh, there's post credits. Hmm. Tell me another one, Uncle Joey. Hmm. The lore. The lore thickens. Um, no, that game was really good. I, uh, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was... I mean, I, obviously, like I said, there was a lot of moments in that game that were kind of filler, to be honest. There was a lot of, uh, repetitive things. Oh, Jock Septic, I was voicing a character in the game! Oh, no, no! The second character is about the daughter. I, you know what? That kind of makes sense because you, I did turn the game on for two seconds, and I was a lady, so now it makes sense. We build our machines. You too. Um, yeah, no, that was cool. Oh, art, fan art. Look at that. This was a feel-good kind of game. Look at that. Look at all this fun little fan art. That's neat. Let's all take a moment to appreciate it. Stuck in a loop forever. Can't seem to get out, so the ink demon comes back. Ah. So we can't die. Hmm. I wonder if it's all an allegory for something. But, uh, you know what's so crazy? I know nothing about this game besides seeing it at, like, going to, like, Target or, like, a random store. Right? Going to a store and just seeing, like, blind bags for this game and being like, what? What? Ah, yes, okay. You've unlocked the archive bonus. That's cool. So now that we have the special seeing tool, by the way, 
if we start the loop again, go to the archives. Uh, is that, do I have to do that from the main menu or am I doing that from here? Oh, okay, Joey. look at all this. I'm here. Oh, Let's so I was things. probably writing... I mean, I think I was probably writing these messages. And this is how many times I've looped. If you can go to the chapters. Alright, I will check that out in a second. There is something I wanted to check out on this area. Uh, there is a there is an area that I couldn't get to originally. These are the notes he wrote. Yeah. Joey drew nothing. Because he is stuck. So I'm wondering, so I was the guy to Joey, the other guy, it, this is like a Jack Kirby situation where I'm the guy who did all the actual work and the other guy basically took all the credit for it. Or he's the more businessy minded and I'm the more creative, whatever. Is what I'm assuming. Yeah, and fired you, yeah. He was born here. I mean, I didn't even, I, I didn't even have those, desk. like, doodles. God, I wasted so much time in this chair. Alright. Let's peep Looks around. Like they knocked out a wall or two after I left. Guess it took a few people to replace me. It is funny that now everything has, like, makes a lot more sense in context. Can I get a little privacy? Now, I'm interested in seeing these doors, right? Because there are spots that I, that are axable here. Um, now that I know that, but I couldn't do them before, because by the time you get the axe, you can't come back up here. So I'm wondering if there's a hidden axe, and now, now that I can see the writing, I wonder if it could, uh, lead to some secrets. Death in every direction. Joey Drew wanted his stuff to come to life and would kill people and trap their souls in ink. Oh my god. Not at all. I like the, the invisible ink. Sammy is one of them. <laughs> I do like, uh, I don't think I want to like fully replay the game on stream. But I think this is worth the guy in the bendy mask in chapter two. Ah, okay. I don't think this is fully worth uh, replaying on stream because it'll be a lot of lore. But if you haven't played this game, which you have, but like for people watching the VOD or whatever, it's worth checking out and trying again, you know, seeing all the, the secret lore and whatnot. There is the machine. Okay, locate the power station. Now, I am trying to get to here. So this room right here. I'll check out the archives too. Um, another day, another dollar. I wonder if there's, there's probably an achievement for doing good in dark as well. Like, let me let me see if I can get a little a bullseye. Okay. I was trying to... I'm, I, I don't care. I was trying to see if it was either going back for further... Soup, 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 soup. Or uh, a way to control the power. Um, so there's a room over here, right? Look at this room. And every time you replay the game with the mirror, it gets a little different each time. Wow. Wow, so there's actually a lot of replayability. So look at this. Like, that's clearly like... Well, maybe not, but it seems like there could be something here. But anyway, there is a way to unlock it. Um, let's go to the archive. Select chapter. The archives. All right, let's see. Oh, is this gonna be? Oh, I love I love when video games do this. 
You have to find five secrets in the game and you can't die at all. Oh my god. I love when games have like a uh, walk around like museum room. Ratchet and Clank had a cool one. One of the Ratchet and Clank like a rift in time or whatever. A crack in time or whatever the hell that game is called. Bending in the ink machine began when develop developer cartoonists known as the Meatly experimented with bringing sketch 2D style into a 3D world. After turning the idea into a horror game, chapter one of the game was created in a little under a week with programmer friend Mike Mood and released on February 10th. Much to the surprise, it struck a chord with global indie games or indie gamers. Almost overnight, uh, they drop all of the project and work on the game. The entire game was completed a chapter at a time in a year and a half by a small but dedicated group of indie developers. Although the concept and story remained as originally intended, the game changed over development as characters were refined during the other versions. Yeah, no, this is a really, really nice looking game. Before a major visual upgrade, this version of Ink Machine was the one to use the game. Much of the machine's iconic fan uh, love design was translated into the final version. Wow. Wow, they have the old models in here. That's cool. Here's Henry, once an equal business partner of Joey Drew. Henry Stein was a talented animator and uh, character designer until leaving the company. His place in Joey Drew Studios' history is somewhat undocumented, but he is often rumored to be the true creator. Also, you can get a mod to be able to go through walls and see how the game works. Oh, that's cool. Find out where you belong standing per- Oh! I was- I'm standing here. I'm the guy. That's fun. This game is just very charming. Concept Bendy. This is the first version of Bendy model ever modeled. Uh, the earliest concept Bendy was much smaller and cuter with a face that split open. Yeah, that wouldn't have been as effective. Oh wow, look at all these variations they went through. This is the original game used des uh, design of Ink Bendy from the earliest version of Chapter 1. It's jokingly referred to as bird poop with a smile. That's still pretty decent. I think this is more effective, though. Beta Bendy. This was Ink Bendy's form until the release of Chapter 4. At that time, the game received a major visual upgrade. Wow. Look at this. Ink Bendy as we know him today. Although similar to Beta Bendy, the up this upgrade has enhanced higher polygon and good ink effects. Yeah. Pretty cool. Beast mode. Horrific final form. <laughs> Sammy Lawrence. Look at all this stuff. The Beta Searcher. Not too much has changed with uh, these guys, I guess. Huh. Yeah. More human-like. I mean, it's a little bit different. Not too, too different. Beta Sammy. But you need to, like, download it because... Oh, yeah. Download the mod. Try to find mods and stuff. Yeah, fair enough. Beta Sammy. Look at all this. Final Sammy. He got jacked. There's that character. Hmm. So that was the same character, just different voice actor. I mean, like, in lore, there was, like, two voice actors who voiced the, the same character. One of them got, whatever, replaced... Oh, I do have, like, that Boris, like, DLC thing, too. That's probably it for another time. Beta Boris. Oh, wow, you had a lot more goop going on here. Papa was the original name. Oh, that's not a great name. Boris the Wolf. Hmm. Classic. They got a little bit of a typography faux pas here with their... They have, like, an Orphaned 2. I would have probably, uh... 
realigned this rag a bit to not have the two on the next line, but whatever. Just, uh, let's see. Boris the Wolf. Papa? Yeah, his name was gonna be Daddy Wolf. Boris the Wolf. Friend of the End was designed using various references from cartoons. Hmm. Pretty cool. Brute Boris. Oh, big. Poor Boris. Very neat. Love me a good, love me a good museum room in games. The Butcher Gang. They had names. Hmm. Wow. More games should do a little, like, should have stuff like this. It's very good. Alright, I think I've talked so much, my voice is, like, given out. I think I need to call it a day for streaming. <sighs> Thank you for watching. And if you want to see more content like this, you know where to find me. You can check out my YouTube channel, too. It's, and it's the, uh... I'll throw my Discord in here, and you can check out my YouTube channel. It has all the VODs, and I gotta go work on uploading all these VODs. Uh... So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Goodbye.